During my 30 years as a mechanic, I have built all kinds of machine parts, from transmission gears to turbine blades. But there is one type of component that I have always had a special respect for, the industrial drill bit. This is not just a cutting tool, but a quiet warrior, working in the harshest conditions, penetrating thousands of meters of rock and soil, withstanding heat, force, and corrosion. And to create it is a complex engineering process accurate to the micrometer. Today, I invite you to join me a manufacturing engineer in that program. Before any drill goes into production, we always start with a prototype. And with this prototype, the first thing we do is torture it. A torque tester pushes the drill bit to its limits, testing its torsional strength, its load capacity, and even its response to deformation. A small crack, a few thousandths of a millimeter of deflection, is a sign of failure. We don't accept close. Only prototypes that pass this test are good enough to begin the real manufacturing journey. This is the starting point, where the journey begins with something seemingly inanimate, a cold, black block of steel weighing tons. You might pass by it in a factory without paying any attention. It looks like a rough, rough block of metal, even with a few scratches from transportation. It has no special shape, no delicate details, and is not something worth displaying. But for us, the mechanics, this is the original blank, the material foundation, for a precise structure that is about to be born the backbone of an industrial drill bit. Before it becomes part of a rock-piercing system, it must undergo a continuous process of testing. The first step is to put it on the roughing line. Here, the steel block will be cut, turned, milled, and rotated continuously. We will remove each layer of unnecessary metal, like sculpting from stone, to begin to form the original shape. You can imagine each cut as a transformation. At first, it is a rough block of metal, then gradually, through each lathe slice, each deep cut, the first lines of the drill shaft will gradually appear. The sound of the lathe roars. The smell of the coolant evaporates. Iron filings fly like rain. Each detail is shaped not by feeling, but by absolute coordinates programmed in advance. Once the workpiece is in the machine, this journey cannot be reversed. Because in mechanical processing, there is no concept of undo. Each cut is permanent. A wrong cut means having to start over. And that is why, even though it is only the first step, for us, it is the decisive step. It sets the foundation for everything that follows. Concentricity, dynamic balance, rigidity, all depend on the precision of this backbone. You may think this is just a small step, but in fact, it is the mechanical soul of the entire drill system.
In precision engineering, CNC machines are the ultimate tool. Once the steel block has been roughed, we take it to the CNC center, where the cutting process begins with near absolute precision. The shaft is turned concentrically, the grooves are cut to precise angles, and the locating holes drilled to the exact right position within a hundredth of a millimeter. Even the slightest deviation, even 0.1 millimeters, can cause the entire assembly to collapse. No matter how beautifully crafted a drill bit is, how perfectly shaped it is, it is still just an empty shell without inner strength. In engineering, appearance is never enough. If it is not hard, it will break. If it is not elastic, it will wear out. And if it is not durable, it will fail within the first five minutes when it meets hard rock. That is why, after machining, the steel block is put into the most important stage, heat treatment. Or as we still call it in a very figurative way, soul forging. In the furnace chamber, the temperature reaches more than 1,000 degrees Celsius. Under that heat, the molecular structure inside the steel begins to change. It is revived, not to soften but to become stronger than ever. Then, the steel is suddenly cooled in oil or inert gas, a thermal shock that locks in the newly formed structure. What is the result? A steel body that is both strong and durable, able to withstand twisting, impact and resilience against tons of pressure from the earth. Fire not only shapes, it also forges character in metal. Like a warrior, the more severely tested, the more invincible he becomes. We don't assemble machines by instinct. Every part has its own order and process. If you install it wrong, you have to disassemble it and start over. And when you finish assembling, look at the entire structure. You will no longer see a bunch of separate components. You are looking at a living mechanical body, where every detail works in harmony like muscles, joints and nerves. Just a small mistake, a wrong grinding angle, a wrong tightening force, can cause the drill bit to shake, break, and worse cause a serious accident for the entire rig worth tens of millions of dollars. And so, after dozens of hours from rough machining, heat treatment, precision welding, meticulous assembly to final load testing, this drill bit is ready to go. It is not made to be placed in a showroom, nor to be admired. Its mission, to go underground, piercing through hard rock, 
paving the way for modern mining, urban infrastructure, and traffic tunnels. Underneath every meter of ground you walk on today, there may be traces left by one of these drills. To us, each drill is a warrior, born not to stand out, but to fight persistently in the dark. And this is just one of thousands of such warriors, fighting silently every day, paving the way for the world to move forward. The world above ground is always changing, but underground, steel still roars silently. If you find this journey of creation interesting, leave a like to support the spirit of the silent mechanics behind the machine. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continue discovering how everything is made.